pillows, the panorama of Halifax. Fantastic, isn't it? Or a little lad down here once. Now we're on our way to Ilkley. Shep decided our old banger was definitely a lady, so he christened her Nelly. And what better way to mark her coming out of retirement than a grand tour of the byways of England in the company of two gentlemen of leisure. And where better to start than our own backyard, the mills and dales of Yorkshire? What a wonderful feeling, old Nelly is going my way. I've been promising Shep a trip across Ilkley Moor for years. He's heard me singing about courting Mary Jane Bartat and ducks eating up to worms often enough. Here at last was the scene of the crime, and I told Shep the true story behind the song. Back in the 1890s, a Sunday school party from Halifax was out here on a picnic and Mary Jane went missing. One of the lads volunteered to look for her, and off he went, minus hat. It was some time before they both returned, whereupon the Sunday school teacher inquired, Where hast thou been since I saw thee? So the song was born, and with a good yarn like that to pass the time, we reached our first stopover, deep in Dentdale, by late afternoon. Here I'd arranged to spend a couple of days potholing with instructor Ben Lyon and Catherine Vale. We don't have to take all this stuff, do we? No, we don't, in fact. That's what we would have used a couple of years ago yeah. when we went with ladder and ropes. You see the enormous pile. In fact, this is the gear which we would have used for the cave that we're going to tomorrow. Yeah. But now, all we need is this. But we began by climbing trees. Onto the rope like so. I've got this one here. And it will slide up, but not down. Yeah. And the one on your chest, similarly. Right. And my like foot so. goes in there, doesn't it? Put your foot in the loop. And then, once you're off the ground, you should find it much more easy. Yeah, great stuff. Have you done this before? I don't think so. You're doing very well for the first time. Oh, I'm one of nature's geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> Just try to pull yourself into the rope. Yeah. Rather than hauling yourself up. You see, if you do let go, you just sit there. Can you? No oh, problem. Yes. Great. <laughs> I won't tip out of here. <laughs> I hope. And continue up until your top jammer is not quite up to the knot. <laughs> now, how do I get off here, Ben? First thing you must do is to clip your cow's tail into the rope at the top. Yeah. Good. Now you're safe. Happy that I now knew how to get myself safely up a rope, I joined Ben and Catherine early next morning to start our day trip down under the Pennines. Typical Yorkshire entrance. Is it? A stream disappearing into a, right. a small sort of hole. Right. You're, you're looking after Shep here now, are you? Yes. All right, lovely. Have a nice day. Thank you. All right, Kath. Thank you. Catherine. Don't let him bring a flock of sheep down here. He's a bit like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, down into the water. Potholes are carved out by the action of running water eroding and dissolving the soft limestone. So getting in usually involves wading along an underground stream. In a little while, we keep traversing and leave the water down below us and then we enter a passage called the New Roof Traverse. Why the new section? Is it, is it quite new? Well, yes, it's a bit silly, really. It was found in the 1930s, 50 years ago. But, of course, it was new to them then, and that's what they called it. Heck, it's high, isn't it? Well, this is the Travis. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> I thought it was going to be just a ledge with a piece of rope or something, and... Oh, no, no. No? No, we just keep going. Come on, Chevy. Oh, I'm tired. Hey, you missed a great day down that bottle today. Oh, hey, where are you? Come on. Here we are. Ah. Oh. Can we put the kettle on? Like a bit of cocoa. Right, 
Here we are, a bit of speed up now. Oh, boy. Where shall we stop tonight? Have you thought? Somebody told us about that bed and breakfast place. Do you remember? Are you listening? Here we go, watch this. Right over. <laughs> the ancient game of quoits is now almost unique to North Yorkshire, and in Swaledale it's serious stuff. I'm lucky if I get in that in that clay. <laughs> Good job. Oh, oh, look, look at that. that! Unfortunately, Johnny tot it that it couldn't knock it right out of the pit. Like that. <laughs> I'd been drawn against Tot Gill, the local league champion, and Tot delivers a mean coit, so the pressure was on to get in the clay. Oh, what a good Fantastic. coit. What a good coit. Oh, oh. How about that then? <laughs> Tot needs one to win. One to win. One. Right. So can you please go 14 consecutive points? To win points, a coin must land as near the white pin as possible. And lands. Nothing in it, Todd. And at 30 paces, as the light begins to fail, that takes some nifty throwing. My only chance of staying in the game now was to hit the pin. Over the top. Wait, he's lying at the back, Todd. I'm saying he is because he's on my team. So Tot was still the champ. Is the bear on you or me? Oh, hey. <laughs> and many a tale of coits was told that evening before Shep and I settled down for a good night's sleep. Next morning we potted up to Wensleydale in search of a loose end. Keep putting enough twisting to make it into a rope now. What's your uh... What's the little wooden thing called? It's a, a top. Mm. Having dangled on the end of a rope down the pothole, I was intrigued to see how one was made. But my... Right. Right. Oh, still working. Here we go. We'd now been 10 days on the road and Nelly had notched up over 200 miles uphill and down dale without so much as a hiccup. So I felt a bit guilty about deserting her for something more modern and more powerful. But in Lower Wharfdale I'd agreed to join in the Harewood High Speed Hill Climb competition and for that I needed some advice from top driver David Garnett and the loan of his 3000cc special. Into the corner, right the course at Harewood is 1,090 yards long with a climb of 250 feet and seven cunning bends on the way. There's a particularly nasty right hander called Quarry Corner just before the finish. The sting in the tail, David calls it. Very slippery all over the course. Now it was my turn for a practice run, and I was allowed to take David as a passenger, so he could give me a few timely words of advice. Right, slow, slow, slow. Hard into the right. Watch the back. Oh, Understeer like mad there. Yeah. 